what is risk? So when we talk about risk, we're talking about the chance of something happening. We know from nearly 30 years of BHF research that for people with a high cholesterol, you're at risk of developing heart and circulatory disease. What we can't tell you is whether you definitely will develop heart and circulatory disease or whether you won't. And there's always two groups of people, some that will and some that won't. So this is why it's important to incorporate risk and to use risk to help us decide treatments. So what is a risk factor? A risk factor is anything that can increase the likelihood of developing disease. Some people will just have one risk factor, others will have multiple. And your doctor will always look at your risk factors and how many you have before recommending treatments. So what does it mean if your GP or nurse talks about um, total risk? We, we need to incorporate all the risk factors for heart and circulatory disease. It would be a high cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking, being overweight and if you're a diabetic. There's also risk factors for high cholesterol, some of which we can change, some of which we can't change. So the factors that we can change that may um, reduce the likelihood of us developing a high cholesterol are cutting down on our saturated fats, we can be more active, we can quit smoking and also we can reduce our body fat but there's also factors that we can't change which might increase the likelihood of us developing a high cholesterol and those are our age our ethnic background and then there is some inherited conditions and there's one called familial hypercholesterolemia and see in the first instance if there's anything we can do to reduce the factors that we can change which is why it's important to understand your own risk and discuss it with your doctor